Hi there, my name is Callum, and in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can submit written documents, such as the report that I have here, to Turnitin through the MMU Moodle areas. Now, to submit to Turnitin through the MMU Moodle areas, you want to start in the Moodle area itself. And here I am, it's just, this is just a standard Moodle area, um, a training area that we have for the business school. And if I scroll down on the centre column, you'll see that we have set up a link called This is a Demo Assignment. And the way that I can tell it's a Turnitin assignment rather than um, perhaps a standard Moodle assignment where you can upload um, documents to is that it has this little red arrow and a bit of paper kind of icon beside it, which is the Turnitin icon. Um, you can also access Turnitin assignments under the activities menu on the left hand side where it says Turnitin assignments. And you'll see that I've got a link here to this demo assignment. By clicking here, there's also a link to this demo assignment. If there are multiple assignments within the same Moodle area, they'll be listed here rather than spread out through all the different weeks and topics. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go back into my training area and go down and enter the assignment this way. And I'll just click in this link. And this link gets me to exactly the same place as the other link that I showed you. So in here, we've got some information about our Turnitin assignment. It's this has got a turn assignment name, which is this was the demo assignment. We then got a summary, which is just the it's just saying it's demo turn it in. However, your lecturer or your tutor might decide to add a bit more information there about this the submission that you're making here um, within the summary. We then got assignment part, which there may be multiple parts to this assignment. Um, for this one, we've just got one part, so we've got part one and then the relevant information to it. Any other parts would have relevant information listed below them. We have a start date, which is when the um, assignment becomes available to you on Moodle. So this is when you can start to submit to it. We have a due date, which is the date on which um, your assignment is due to be handed in. And then we have a post date, which is if your lecturer or your tutor decides to mark online, this is the date that the marks will be released and feedback will be released back to you. One thing to notice about these dates is they are down to the minute. Now, these ones are set at funny time, 16.11, just because it was set up quite quickly. Um, however, you might find that these are set for 5 o'clock in the evening, 6 o'clock in the evening, or even, you know, 1 minute to midnight. Um, but it is down to the minute um, based on the central time of Moodle um, as to when these will close, for example, for the due date. We then have the maximum marks that you can get for your assignment here. Um, and this one's just out of 100. Now, this is the overview, um, or this, as it says, the summary of the assignment. If we click on my submissions, then it will take us through to a page where, in this situation, I have a drop down menu um, where I have the option to submit a file or a text submission. Now, this is because it's the way that this Turnitin assignment has been set up, it allows me to select which I'm going to um, submit. We can submit just text straight into Turnitin. However, I'm going to select a file upload for this one because I want to submit my report. And this takes me through to a page. It's quite likely that you'll just go straight to this page, to be honest, um, because most lecturers choose one or the other um, of the submission which you're going to be making. We then have the submission title, which I'm just going to call it my essay. Oh. And then you'll see which part it's saying that it is and then file to submit. So the file to submit, I'm just going to browse and go to my desktop and select my report and then click open. And this, you'll now see that my report is displayed in here. I'm then going to check this box. Now by checking this box, I'm confirming that the work that I'm submitting is my own and that I accept responsibility for any copyright infringement within the um, regulations of the university. So if I click add submission, then now this document will be uploaded. And you'll see that we're fed back some information, which just says the document's called my essay. We've got the submission successfully uploaded to turn it in. Um, when it was submitted, down to the minute again, it's got a box which says similarity. And now this is a similarity report, which we're going to look at in a different video. And um, this, on your first time that you submit, this will show pending for maybe five or ten minutes while um, the similarity report is checked. And then it will come up with a percentage which you can look at. Um, and then we have the grade and comments. So that is how we submit to Turnitin via MMU Moodle.